I was looking around at our mech bays and those wasps and like urban mechs I was noticing before when I was introducing people, we still have those. And what I think happened was when I was doing my test run, uh, I was doing market generation and actually buying some mechs. So we're actually kind of already gone through this once already, but I'm just going to roll with it because I kind of like the idea of just having some things in reserve. Uh, that being said, here is what I rolled up for market generation. Um, there's five different markets, uh, the open market, employer market, mercenary auctions, factory line, and black market. Uh, we aren't, uh, don't have the factory line available to us. And uh, these do have like price ranges uh, that they can uh, uh, hit us with. But I didn't actually roll the specific mix yet because I don't think I'm going to mess with these three right now. I just kind of want to, I want to window shop light and medium mechs that are available to us. So that's where I'm going to start. And I'm going to start actually with the uh, employer market. These will be Davian mechs that we'll have available to us. And to do that, I'm going to go back to our sheet here and find a Dave. Where are you, Dave? These are vehicles, not vehicles. Mix. Mix of the Federated Sons. And pull the dice back out. Custom. 999 because 1000s are for losers. And these are light mix, correct? Yes, three lights. First one is going to be 702. <laughs> Aust Scout. Not as bad as the upgraded version, but still not a very good mech. 360. Uh, Locust 1M, Locust. <laughs> Locust LCT 1M. That might be interesting. We could sell our mechs as well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. And. Curita table. Uh, well. <sighs> Dave, why are you doing this to me? 869. Panther. Eh, those aren't too bad either. Panther 9R. The only problem with those, they're, they're not really a scout mech. plus a Merc one. Is there a Merc one? No, we're not going to mess with the Starlink stuff. Uh, let's see. Capellan, Federated, Free Worlds, Liren. It's odd that there is no generic mercenary. I'm just missing it. But, uh, we've got five. How many mechs do I have actually to generate? I've got two lights, two mediums. So what I'm going to do is make a custom die and we'll just randomly select which table we go down to. So four, I believe it's the Free Worlds League. Two is Kirita. Those are the lights. And medium is now a medium Kirita and a medium Liren. And the uh, mediums D3. 
PC lyric combo. Alright, awesome. Back into our 999 for maximum savings. 543 on this table is a Locus 1V. Mediums are going to be a Dervish DV6M. look these mixed up. I know what a locus and these the 1A doesn't interest me at all. Uh, Phoenix Hawk honestly doesn't really doesn't really interest me because I already have two. a scout. Uh, there are better scouts, although not really with that kind of a jump range. That is interesting. What does this thing have that the other doesn't? A Beagle Active Probe. Bleh. It's better in MechWare Online than it is in Tabletop, honestly. Besides which, I would have to refit into that, which I can't even do because Beagle Active Probes don't exist yet. Well, they don't exist... Uh, readily enough to actually upgrade anything. Uh, locusts. I got two of those. I can look at those both at the same time. I know what an, I know what a 1V is by heart. But, uh, 1V, two machine guns, one medium laser, and it's an 812. Pretty speedy. Pretty nice. It's 20 ton mech. Uh, fairly cheap as well. I didn't look at the price on the OTTs. One second. Let me look at it again. Wow. That's a lot of money for some of the socks. <laughs> and what was the other one? Well, it was a 1M, two LRM 5s, and a medium laser. Now, if I think of a look, the armor is significantly less on the 1M. Oh, yes. Wow. It's like one ton of armor, if that. Yeah, 16 points, one ton of armor. But it's got these LRM 5s. It makes it a very interesting uh, variant. would I even give it to you, though? Job on the commando? Give it to the pain train? I don't know. His skills aren't really good enough to actually make use of the LRM 5s. So, the 1V, though, is very tempting. 
just because it is so fast. Let's back burner burner for a minute. I want to look up uh, the panther here real quick. And is the 9R? Yes. SRM4 and PPC, 464. Very slow for a light. Um, does have a little bit of range to it. And a PPC does pack a punch. Problem is, you couldn't use this in a uh, scout lance. So it's really more of a filler. As I mentioned earlier, the Vindicator is kind of a, a generic mass produced Mega Panther for the uh, common the Capellans. This is uh, the mass produced generic mech for the uh, Curitas. So cheap to build and throw out there. It's lighter though, so it's actually cheaper to build these than it is the Vindicator. And I know what a Phoenix Hawk is. Let's look at the DV. I, well, I know what both of them are, but let's look up the DV here real quick. Oh, oh medium mix, medium mix. What was it? DV 6M. 5.85. Cost us 5 million. Well, Two SRM2s, two LRM10s, and two medium lasers. I would really rather that. I mean, I have a second Shadowhawk. I would actually replace that second Shadowhawk with this. Let's uh, quickly look at the price here. Um, which market is this? This is the open market. Target price is seven. After finding the armor. Price will be for each unit available. Each number above the price tag reduces the price by 5%. Okay. It's 10% more expensive. No, I'm not going to do that. that. Since I rolled, I am going to mark it down. So I don't forget later. This changes every month, but still. Again, good habits now. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and check on the Locust as well. Yeah, plus 5% for that one. What's the employer market for us? Same, okay. So, uh, the other Locust, ooh, is actually at a discount. Oh man, that makes it very tempting. It's a 25% discount. Very tempting. That's tempting enough. I'm going to do it, honestly. Give me the 1M. So, 1,571,200. Oh, well, times 0.75. Cost us one million one hundred seventy-eight thousand. Okay, the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to add it, and then I'm going to go over here and deduct it. should have a locust, which I need to assign a deck. Who needs time here, you? OK. 
Okay. Now I'm ready to get started, actually. Um, It's four jumps, take us 12 days. Honestly, it ain't gonna take us long at all to get there. Wow. So, we're gonna get there well before February. Can I go back here and change our start date? That's fine. Um, we'll just hang out for a little while. I should I should have checked that before I. Uh... Now it does cost us money. It's going to cost us a little over a million. It automatically generates the things we need to, you know, the, the dropships we need to carry all of our stuff here. So let's go ahead and get that started, and we'll start advancing a few days here. Now I'm going to keep an eye here on the maintenance, and the way I want this maintenance to work, I think I've got it set up this way, is if they fail their role, the quality goes down. I don't want it ever breaking anything. probably just going to have to turn maintenance off if I can't get it to do what I want it to do. I don't mind the quality going down because that just makes it harder to repair on the other end, but I don't, i just not going to deal with a, our own techs sabotaging our stuff. I might get on there, uh, the uh, mech tech forums and ask around, see if there's a way I can actually do it, do what I'm wanting to do. take us longer than I thought to get here. We made planet fall exactly February 11th. Wasn't that what they were saying? Okay. Well, maybe I should have trusted the calculation. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's actually better than we initially thought. We'll get one round of recruitment in. to that. Just real quick do a recruitment roll and then I'm going to call out a video. Sandra Gostetti. Regular mechanic, so he gets to keep his picture. I think he... No, wait, regulars do not get to keep his picture. Or do they? Ah! I can't remember. I can't remember my own rules. Yeah, regulars get shares, so... I, I still need to do the share thing. 
But I will do that next time. I guess that makes him a sergeant. Honestly. The way this works, well, even the green ones are corporals because technically they still have a team of these uh, assistant technicians under them. So they do have some kind of command structure to them. And actually, I probably should assign him to the hover tank because he's better at it. There we go. Alright, cool beans. Uh, next time, we'll actually generate some battles and we should, within a video, actually start actually blowing stuff up. See you then.